What's up guys and welcome to the second tutorial of programming in Haskell and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set, make a calculator, basic commands, basic code, let's start the tutorial. If you missed the first tutorial go watch it because this tutorial carries on from the first tutorial. Let me click GHCI, press it in, type it in, enter and there you have it. We have started the Glasgow Haskell compiler is now in interactive mode. Before we do anything, we need to do set plus t. And now we can check if it's working. 40 plus 40 is 80 indeed. The word it it refers to the most recently evaluated thing in case 80. The double colon introduces the values type. The word integer says that type of int 80 is an integer that's all you need to know and now let's go into the calculator 2 plus 3 is 5 indeed it is 2 plus 6 minus 2 is 6 indeed it is 7 mod 2 is one. How many twos go into seven? Three remained one. Modulus just looks at the remainder. Two to the power of ten. Everybody loves this for some reason. All computer scientists love this number. 1024 for some reason. They just love it for some reason. Yeah, two to the power of ten is 1024. That's a gig. One gig is 1024 MB. So what does true give us? True, yeah, boolean, false, false, yeah, it's boolean. False or true, what does that give us? Gives us true. True and and false gives us false, yep. 2 equals equals to, yes it does, 2, 2 equals equals 3 gives us false, yes it does, square root of 25 is 5, yes it is, let's get more mathematical sign, brackets pi divided by 2 is one yep and now let's look at some other complex stuff such as concatenation or whatever I've got a string of characters in here a b c plus plus d e f that just puts all the number or not sorry numbers all the characters together Let's reverse a couple of characters. Reverse A B C D E F. And there you have it. F E D C B A. Yep. Let's take a look at this for a moment. Head one, two, three, four, five. What does that give us? One, because one is at the front. Let's look at the tail of the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Close up. It gives us two, three, four, five. Yes indeed it does. Take three from one, two, three, four, five. What does that do? One, two, three. Yep. Let us drop three from one, two, three, four, five. What does that give us? four and five because we dropped three numbers length from one two three four five or if you want length from six seven eight eight nine ten the length indeed is ten what else do we have we could have plus seven 
on three. Gives us ten indeed. Divide seven on three. Gives us 2.3 recurring with a five at the end for some reason. Binary operator or with true false. Yep, true indeed. Show pi. What does that give us? The whole pi number. This is incredible. A bigger than B false. A smaller than should give us true. Yes, indeed it does. Reverse show Yep, there you have it This is quite fun The more you do it, the more you love it Keep doing this and you'll get the hang of it That's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will look at types and classes. And we will use a, use a script. Because in this tutorial, we never use no script. In the next tutorial, we will use our first very own script. And therefore, we can use things like double. If I show you now double 10 or double 2, 10, whatever. It won't work because we don't have a script. When we import a script, when we load in a script, we can therefore... Stop playing around with more things and therefore we can use Haskell to show recursion, reverse a function or whatever you want to do.